the medial compartment of the thigh includes six muscles number 1 gracilis muscle number 2 pectineus muscle and the three adductor muscles that is adductor longus muscle adductor brevis muscle adductor magnus muscle and the sixth one is the obturator externus muscle among them adductor longus adductor brevis adductor magnus and obturator externus muscle are fan shape or triangular shape muscles while pectineus muscle is quadrangular shape muscle first we will discuss the origin this is hip bone with the interior view in the lateral view this highlighted green is the pubic part inferiorly this is the pubic ramus which is continuous with the ischial ramus and together these two is called the ischio pubic ramus also this is the body of the pubis and this is the external surface of the pubis body now the ischio pubic ramus and the external surface of the body of the pubis is the place where most of these muscles originate the gracilis muscle originate as a line on the external surface of the body of the pubis and the ischio pubic ramus the pectineus muscle originate from the pectinal line and adjacent bone of the pelvis the adductor longus muscle originate from the external surface of the body of the pubis adductor brevis muscle originate from the external surface of the body of the pubis and the inferior pubic ramus adductor magnus muscle has two parts the adductor part which originate from the ischio pubic ramus and the hamstring part which originate from the ischial tuberosity and obturator externus muscle originate from the external surface of the obturator membrane and adjacent bone after origination these muscle descend downward and laterally the gracilis muscle is the most superficial of all these muscles in the medial compartment the pectineus and adductor longus muscle form the medial half of the floor of femoral triangle adductor longus muscle aside from its contribution to the floor of femoral triangle it also form the medial border of the femoral triangle adductor longus muscle also contribute in the proximal posterior wall of the adductor canal adductor magnus muscle is the largest and deepest of all the muscles in the medial compartment it form the distal posterior wall of the adductor canal the adductor part of the adductor magnus muscle has small perforations these perforations are present near its insertion and through them passes the perforating branches of the deep femoral artery the adductor hiatus which is present inferiorly between the adductor part and the hamstring part allow femoral artery and femoral vein to pass from the adductor canal to the popliteal fossa next is the insertion all medial compartment muscles are inserted on the femur bone except gracilis muscle which is inserted on the tibia bone the gracilis muscle is inserted on the medial surface of the proximal shaft of tibia bone between the insertion of the semitendinous muscle and sartorius muscle 
This is isolated femur bone with the posterior view. We divide it into three parts. The proximal one third, the middle one third, where linea aspera is present, and the distal one third of the femur bone. The pectineus muscle is inserted on the pectineal line, which is present on the posterior surface of the proximal femur bone. Adductor longus muscle is inserted on the linea aspera, which is present on the middle one third of the femur bone. Adductor brevis muscle is inserted on the posterior surface of the proximal femur and upper one third of the linea aspera. Adductor magnus muscle has two parts. The adductor part is inserted on the posterior surface of the proximal femur, linea aspera, and medial supracondylar line, while the hamstring part is inserted on the adductor tubercle and supracondylar line, and obturator externus muscle is inserted on the trochanteric fossa. Next is the nerve innervation. All medial compartment muscles are innervated by obturator nerve except pectineus muscle which is innervated by femoral nerve and hamstring part of the adductor magnus muscle which is innervated by tibial division of the sciatic nerve. The single most important function of all the medial compartment muscles is to adduct the thigh. And it makes sense because all these muscles are present medial to the hip joint. The only exception here is the obturator externus muscle, which literally rotates the thigh. This function of the obturator externus muscle is similar to obturator internus muscle. There is clinical significance associated with the obturator nerve. Since obturator nerve supply most of the adductor muscles, injury to the obturator nerve result in weakened adduction of the limb and injury to the nerve usually occur in the pelvis. Next I will discuss muscles of the posterior compartment starting with the bicep femoris muscle. Thank you.